Can you just click to the right and flash it? Flash it. Right to the right. Flash to the right. Flash to the right. Flash to the right. This is the word problem. A user. User. That's the same thing. Again, I will explain it again. Am I blocking you? I don't like that. A user is charged 300 pesos monthly for a particular mobile plan, which includes 100 free text messages oh my God. in excess of 100 are charged 1 peso each. Represent the amount a consumer pays each function of the number of messages M set in a month. Seriously, Instead of using M, can we just use X? So X determines the number of messages that has been sent, correct? Now, we have two problems. Can you click left? Okay. We have two conditions. What is the first condition? <laughs> you will pay 300 pesos if you will not exceed 100. So from from 0 to 100. Okay? But 0 is not included. Okay? 0 is not included. Now, the another thing is when you exceed 100, then you will pay the excess of 100 by 1 peso each messages. Correct? So it's like 300, if you exceed by 5, out of 100, 105, you exceeded 5 messages. So that's 300 plus 5. So you need to pay for that month 305. Mm -hmm. it? But the question now is how are we going to write it in an equation? That's the problem. Okay? So, but we can do it. Don't worry. The first one is f of x. Can you see there the camera? Yes. Okay, lang. This one. Maybe one more. Okay, lang. Now, the first uh, condition is you will pay three hundred pesos. You will pay three hundred pesos, right, per month. If what is the condition? If you spend over zero up to 100. Right? Over zero. Because 100 text free. Remember, Sean. 300 ang plan. That plan includes 100 text messages free. So it means if you do not exceed 100 or just maybe 50 or one text message, just like you you will still pay the same amount. How much? 300. So. Let's say x mana is x, x is the number of messages. So if x is less than zero, because of course you will really use it. No, I mean, we assume that it's greater than zero because there's no zero. Right? Because you, you, you will avoid a plan and you will not use it, that's impossible. And then greater than or, or less than or equal to 100. What does it mean? It means Maybe up to 100, yes, the, 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 the text messages. The maximum is 100. Okay? So from 0 to 100. And that means in the interval notation, it's from 0 to 100. Will I prove 100? Yes. Yes, so bracket. Okay? The second condition, the second condition is still 300 plus the excess. How can you compute for the excess? M minus 100. M is the number of text messages. So if X, minus then minus 100, because 100 is free. Correct? Yeah. So if you exceeded, if you use up 105 messages, so the excess there is 5. five. How, do you, how do you come up with 5? 105 minus, minus 100. Anyway, 100 is free. So we take off the 100. That's the free man. The X, number from? Huh? Number of text messages. Okay? The, the payment will be based on the number of messages we used up in one month. Okay? Now, like, let us simplify the equation. It will be... 300 plus x. It will be 300 plus x minus 100. And this can be simplified. That will be 200. 200 plus x. Or... X plus 200. So let me write it down. X plus 200. So x plus two hundred. X plus two hundred. If 
the number of messages x is greater than 100. So in our in this case, it will be starting from 100, not included 100 because 100 is included there already. Zero up to positive infinity. So if you use one million text messages, <laughs> so one million minus 100, 100. 1,190 million dollars. 800, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, it's like that. So we have now the two equations. So the first equation is y equals, replace the f of x with y, 3, y equals 300. 400. And the other one is y equals 200. x plus 200. <laughs> From this, what is our slope? <laughs> one. one over one. We can just have 100 over 100 later. Oh. Anyway, it's still 1, correct? Yeah. What is our y intercept? 200. This is our y intercept of 100. But let's start with this first. 300. Let's say, let's say it is by 50. Yes. Because very, what, what is very small, no? So 100, 150. 300. Or can we have it like 100 here? 200. You see the picture? It's 50, 100, 150, and so on, right? So this is 100, 200, 300. Okay. Going to the left is negative 100. Going down is negative uh, 100 also. Now in this case, this we have this one first. But zero. If it's y plus 300, it will just be a horizontal line. Yes. But we will only graph starting from zero, zero up to 100. So where is 100? It's here. So up to here only. Is zero included? Yes. Huh? No, no, no. no. <laughs> it's a circle. Is 100 included? Yes. yes. No. Okay. Oh. In that case, draw a line between them. Oh. So it means this is the graph of the first equation. Wow. Second equation. Mm. It's sta uh, it states there it's y equals x plus 200. Remember in our lesson in graphing linear equations, the constant is your y intercept. Y intercept means it touches this y axis. So it starts with here. If the slope is 1 over 1, so it means go up once, it go to the right once. But it's impossible to do that here because the grade would be very, very small. But we can have it bigger, like 50 over 50. Good point, very good things. So 50 over 50 is still 1. So instead here, I can go up 50 and go to the right 50. Go up 50, go to the right 50, and so on. So it would be a line like, line like this, right? But we'll take consider of our domain. The domain there is from 100 up to infinity. But the 100 is not included. Where in this graph, where is 100? Yeah, Here. Yeah. But it has already a shape. So it means we're going to make another circle. All right. OK? And then it says that it goes to the positive infinity, so going to the left is not included anymore. So in this case, from here going up, put an arrow. What's, what's, the, sig uh, what's, what's the symbol? What's, what does it mean? There's an arrow. It will go on there for, forever. So it means the x also exceeds. So the graph of f of x equals 300, and f of x, x plus 200 is this, based on the domains that uh, we need to consider. Sino na lilito? Sino na lilito?